Anona Senegalensis, Wikipedia article audio. Anona Senegalensis, commonly known as African custard apple, wild custard apple, and wild soursop, is a species of flowering plant in the custard apple family, Ananaceae. The specific epithet, Senegalensis, translates to mean of Senegal, the country where the type specimen was collected. A traditional food plant in Africa, the fruits of A. Senegalensis have the potential to improve nutrition, boost food security, foster rural development and support sustainable land care. Well known where it grows naturally, it is largely unheard of elsewhere. Description Habitat Anona senegalensis takes the form of either a shrub or small tree, growing between 2 and 6 meters tall. Occasionally, it may become as tall as 11 m. A senegalensis is generally pollinated by several species of beetle, but can be hand-pollinated when grown as a crop plant. Its seed viability usually lasts no more than six months. A. Senegalensis tends to grow in semi-arid to subhumid regions adjacent to the coast, often, but not exclusively, on coral-based rocks with mostly sandy, loamy soils, from sea level up to 2,400 meters, at mean temperatures between 17 and 30 degrees Celsius and mean rainfall between 700 and 2,500 mm. They are often solitary plants within woodland savanna understory, also frequently in swamp forests or riverbanks or on former cropland left fallow for an extended period. It is native to tropical east and northeast, west and west central, and southern Africa as well as southern subtropical Africa, and islands in the western Indian Ocean. Specific to the nation of South Africa, it is found in KwaZulu-Natal, Limpopo, and Mpumalanga. A. Senegalensis has become naturalized in parts of India. It is also found in the islands of Maldives. Distribution the primary use of this versatile plant is for food, but it has applications in numerous aspects of human endeavor, and every part of the plant has unique properties and uses. The flowers, leaves and fruit are edible and culinary, white fruit pulp has a mild, pineapple-like flavor. Flowers are added to spice or garnish meals, leaves are eaten by humans as vegetables or browsed by livestock. Leaves are also part of the diet of the West African giraffe. Uses The leaves are also used to create a general health tonic, in the treatment of pneumonia, and as mattress and pillow stuffing. Specific to Sudan, leaves are boiled in the making of perfume. Bark can be processed to produce yellow-brown dye, insecticide, or medicine for treating a wide array of ailments, including worms parasitic on the intestines or flesh, diarrhea, gastroenteritis, lung infections, toothaches, and even snake bites. Natural gum in the bark is used to close open wounds. Roots are also used medicinally in treating a gamut of conditions, from dizziness and indigestion to chest colds to venereal diseases. Anthracnose Suckering shoots provide binding fibers, and the malleable, pale brown to white wood is used to carve tool handles, or fashioned into poles. Wood ash is an admixture to chewing tobacco and snuff, and also in soap production as solvent. The essential oils in the fruits and leaves are valued for their organic chemical constituents, CAR-3-ENE and linalool. Certain parts of A. senegalensis are used in treating skin or eye disorders. Many South Africans believe the roots can cure insanity. 
Some Mozambicans feed them to infants to wean them from their mother's breast. Like other species within the genus Inanna, A. senegalensis is commonly afflicted by anthracnose, brought on by the fungal pathogen Colitotrichum glosporioides, which leads to leaf drop, eventually followed by mummification of its fruit. Controls often employed against the disease include spray applications of fermate or fagon. It has bark of smooth or coarse texture, that can be a grey-silver or grey-brown. It is leaf-scarred, with nearly round flaking, showing lighter-hued spaces of underbark. Branches have thick, grey, brown, or yellow tomentum when new, but this is later shed with age. Its green to blue-green leaves are alternate, simple, oblong to ovate to elliptic, from 618.5 long by 2.511.5 cm wide, with upper sides nearly hairless, but often hairy on the undersides, green to reddish, arachnose veins on both surfaces, with rounded to slightly notched apices. The leaf base is squared or barely lobe lyre. The leaf margin is entire. Stout petioles are 0.52.5 cm long, flowers mature to up to 3 cm in diameter, on 2 cm stalks, either singular, or 2 to 4, ascending from the leaf axils. Six thick, creamy, or xanthate petals display in double whorls, and green on the outside but either creamy or sanguine within, each is roughly 0.81.5 by 0.91.1 cm, hairless or somewhat fuzzy. Petals' inner whorls curve over its stamens and ovary, three loose sepals are ovalish, and smaller than the petals. The stamens range from 1.7 to 2.5 mm in length, fruits are formed of numerous fused, fleshy, bumpy, oviform or globular carpels about 2.55 by 2.54 cm. They are green when young, ripening to yellow, and eventually to orange, packed with many burnt orange-colored, oblong, cylindrical seeds. The fruit stalk is 1.55 cm in length, 